Hi everybody. So today I'm going to do a review of the ESV Study Bible. And this is not just any ESV Study Bible. This one is the Heirloom Study Bible. So this one is the black goatskin that was just recently released from Crossway. And this is one of the most beautiful Bibles that they've ever produced, if not the most beautiful. So all of their heirloom editions come in a really nicely done black two-piece box. So you can pause and read that about the Heirloom Study Bible if you would like. And then we're going to drop down and look at the features. So there's more than 2 million words with 20,000 notes and other resources, 80,000 cross-references, 50 plus articles on essential topics of theology, ethics, and biblical teaching, 240 full-color maps and illustrations, an extensive concordance, a premium goatskin cover, high-quality European Bible paper, art gilding, four ribbon markers, extra smooth sewn binding, and a lifetime guarantee. And Crossway is just such a great publisher, plus they're also a ministry as well. I don't know if you were aware of that, but they do a fantastic job on their Bibles. So here is our ISBN number. This one does retail for $375, but right now it is on just an amazing sale right now on christianbook.com for $225. And this Bible is worth every penny of that $225 because it is absolutely gorgeous. Plus, for a Bible that's going to last you a lifetime and that has all of the resources that this one does and the way that they've done this one is well worth that price. So when you open up the box, there's going to be a letter from Crossway. So I will hold that right there in case you would like to pause and read it. And it does talk about their 80th anniversary. But then also when we drop down here, it says this heirloom anniversary edition of the ESV Study Bible released not only 80 years after Crossway's founding, but 10 years since the Study Bible's first release. So this Bible, the study Bible, has been out for 10 years now. And so this 10-year anniversary on their 80th anniversary, they just did a phenomenal job with this Bible. So on their heirloom editions, they do drape them in a really nicely done, like a uh, velvet fabric. So they are presented really well when you open up the box. It's always impressive. And then you see the beauty of the Bible itself. So this thing is nine and seven eighths inches tall, seven inches wide, and it is two inches thick. So nice beefy Bible. So we've got nice black and gold head and tail bands. We can see that we've got four beautiful ribbons. But look at that gold gilding. That gilding is just superb. They did such a great job on the gilding on this Bible. You can see how that shines. I mean, that is just absolutely gorgeous. The cover on this, it is a natural grain goat skin. So I'll get you a little bit closer so you can see the grain on that. Just really, really pretty. It does have perimeter stitching. It's going to go all the way around that perimeter. Now the spine on this one as well as the block, it is reinforced. So it's basically double reinforced on here. But they did a great job reinforcing this spine. So on our spine we're going to have study bible. ESV, English Standard Version, and the Crossway logo. Plus we've got these really nicely done raised ribs. And you can see that those are tooled just really nicely. So much more defined than some of the previous editions. Plus one thing that's a little bit different. On the other editions, those four ribs were spaced differently. And instead of having this insignia, it just said it had the letters ESV down there. So... Real quickly, I'll just show you what the previous ones look like. So you can see here, plus this is their deep brown cowhide. So you can see that those ribs, they're a little bit wider, but they're just not as defined as those. And as we open up this Bible, so one, we're going to see that it does lay nice and flat and we're not even into the Bible yet. But we can also see that it has a really nicely done, just really pretty gold gilt line all the way around that perimeter. And they just have that perfectly done. 
just perfectly spaced all the way around. It is an edge line Bible. This liner is also full leather, so I'm not sure what type of leather, but it feels and looks amazing. We can see here as this is tabbed up into the block that that tab is about double what a lot of Bibles are. So they have this tabbed in there really, really well, which is nice considering this is a two inch thick Bible. So I've also got those pages attached to help reinforce that. You're going to have a few pages of blank cardstock in case you wanted to write notes in this one. Then we're going to have our presentation page, page for marriages, births and adoptions, as well as deaths. And then we'll get into our title pages. And one thing that is really unique on this one, it is printed in Italy. So this was printed by Lego, which just does awesome, awesome printing. And they have some of the best paper in the world. So not only was it printed by Lego in Italy, this one was bound by Youngblood in the Netherlands. So you've got the two best out there that combined to do this Bible. So it's really unique. It does tell us here that this is the 2016 text edition. And one thing that we're gonna see right away is we've got this salmon under gold art gilding. So we can see how pretty that gold is and then that salmon underneath. So they did just a fantastic job on that. So on this video, I'm not gonna go so much into the content of this Bible as far as the different features that are in it because I will attach a link to a detailed video of the cowhide one that I just showed you and I've got all of the details in that one as far as the contents. Where this one is more going to be on what makes the heirloom edition a little bit more different than that one. So we've got a really nicely done Bible paper. So this is a 31 GSM paper. So our text, as far as on our biblical text, it's a nine point font. So nice and readable. And then down in our notes, it's a 7.25. So the layout in this is gonna be identical to the previous editions. The only thing is the older editions, in which I had to borrow one to show on this one. So we can see in this newer one that the only lines we have are going to be down on this bottom half of the page, and there's nothing to separate our biblical text from our cross-references. But this one here was done in 2000... This one was done in 2014 and is the 2011 text. And so one difference is we can see this line here. So there was a line separating the references from the biblical text. So you will not see that in this edition. And unfortunately, I just crinkled a page. Luckily, not too bad. So thankfully, you can't tell. Whew. Sweat that one. So we're going to have all of our same amazing features in this one. Other than it's going to have a little bit nicer paper. It has a really nice feel. So that's why I keep petting this Bible. One thing that Crossway did on this one is they did go ahead and go with Beresford ribbons. So we've got four different ribbons. So these are going to match the ribbons that are done in the 80th anniversary editions as far as the Omega. So four different colors are really pretty. I do like that they finally went with the Beresford ribbon. The only thing that I would have changed on these is they are just a little bit short. So we can see that it doesn't give you a whole lot to hold on to. And if you had really big, large hands, that might be pretty difficult for you to hang on to that one there. So that's about the only thing that I would have changed on this one was just made the ribbons just a little bit longer. But aside from that, just this Bible is absolutely gorgeous with the natural grain goat skin leather, the leather liner. We can see how nice that gold gilt line looks. We can see how pretty the art gilding is, but just an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous Bible. So if you wanted to see more of the contents of this Bible, you could watch my other review, and I will link that in the description box. So the back of the Bible is going to be the same as the others as far as this is where all the articles and resources are going to be. So we'll have all those same articles, the same great concordance. And it's also going to have the same 15 full color maps. 
So the maps are done on a thicker cardstock, and we can see from the light hitting that that it is on the glossy cardstock. So I know a lot of people don't really like that. I personally prefer the matte finish, but I'm also okay with these because they are nicely done maps. We can see that on these pages where it's a two-page spread, sometimes you do get a little bit of issues where towns might fall into the gutter. Doesn't actually look too bad on this one. It's a big enough page to be able to still see it. So we do have the 15 full color maps plus all of the maps that are built in the text itself. So here we can see the stitching. So nice Smithsonian binding. So again, we're right in the very back in the maps and it is laying totally flat for us. I'm not even trying to hold it open. But just a beautiful, beautiful Bible. Crossway did such a fantastic job on this one. And they also are going to be coming out with a brown goat skin as well as a blue. I have not seen those. So if you're interested in one of these anniversary editions and the heirloom one, definitely pick one up because I don't know how long they'll have them. So back here in the back, we're going to see that we do have a few more pages of blank cardstock. So if you are a note taker, you're going to have plenty of space to put some notes if you wanted to write in it. It does tell us it is goat skin leather. But again, just absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous Bible. Everything that they did on this one, they just hit it right out of the park. Just phenomenal, beautiful, beautiful Bible. And the way that they drape it in the fabric, just great presentation. The way that they do their heirloom editions. Very nice packaging, so it's protected when it's not in use. So again, here is our ISBN number. It tells us it retails for $375, but you can still get these right now on sale for $225, which I think is well worth that price for what you're getting. And then also, if you wanted to see a full review as far as the contents, I do have a video that I linked on this one here. So it goes through all of the content of the Bible. So if you wanted to see the different features, you can definitely check out that video. And I would like to thank the fine folks over at Crossway for graciously sending this one out for review. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.